Alright, so you are saying here, I moved the character a bit to take him outside the box. Which you did, I saw that and it looks it looks definitely better. You have him leaning forward, you have his reaction going, hey, a bit more alert and straight and then going into a relaxed pose. That's all cool. That's a lovely accent you have. Let me bring down the volume so it's still concentrate on the mechanics first before we go into lip sync. That's a lovely accent you have. But what you can... There are a couple of things you can you need to look out for. A, it's you need to get out of your pose to pose. Meaning, for instance, even from here, it just goes from here to here, and that's kind of it. Day, mate. And then the rest is purely just head accents. So you need to look at your next pass um, in terms of body mechanics. So, for instance, this piece here, when you have your hands going back, there are a couple of things happening here. A, this looks like an IK hand because you got this angle of your forearm and your wrist and then as you go back you can see how that forearm changes it goes from here to here but then the rotation is pretty much the same on the wrist giving this uh, uh, giving us uh, an IK feel where you can move all that stuff around but then this wrist is usually kind of locked and you can see how it feels broken at point where it's just at points where it's too rotated over and then you can see it here the rotation is looking downwards here on the wrist and this is the angle of your shoulder of your elbow I mean and seeing as you go over you can see how the elbow moves over but the rotation of the wrist is still the same so you have to make sure that it looks like an FK arm and just in terms of anatomy and body mechanics that if you have all of this moving around that it's going to affect the wrist a lot of times the wrist is going to be aligned with the forearm more or less so you want to make sure that when you have something like this that a it doesn't look like an IK arm and the other thing about an arm, if you move the arm back, the cool thing is that you engage your shoulder. That's right. It seems like you're moving up, though. And I will go up and back, because he is going back here with his arm. So what happens then is that if you move your arm already through here, I will move that shoulder back. Then you can bring it up. But because of that move of bringing the arm back to go around the chair here, it's going to engage your chest. That chest is going to rotate in Y as well, which then in turn is going to affect the hips, which are also going to turn in Y just a bit less. And because you have arm, chest, and hip movement that is being affected by that arm, there's going to be a change that is going to affect the orientation of the head as well. So through all of this, you can see the head is like this, and it doesn't change at all. Here you have animation because of the, the dialogue which is great. But then if you do this, that head movement is also going to affect the lower neck, the chest, and so on. Because of that, that's going to affect the hands, and the arm here and here. So you have to look at now for your next pass, what are the mechanics? What happens when I move this arm? What else is going to be affected by all of this, right? So this movement is going to affect this area a lot more, this a bit less, this a bit less. You're not going to see the knees, you're not going to really see finger movement, but still, Having him move like this, you can see how the wrist is completely broken here. All that movement in the upper arm, forearm and everything, but then the wrist is not moving at all. So you would have a wrist movement, because of that the fingers would change. So this is your next pass. Look at the mechanics. That's a lovely accent you have. Even through here, I would probably bring up that wrist a bit more if you do a squint test here. For me, like my silhouette test, it just feels like a block. That's a horrible drawing here. But it feels like a block where we could have... Let's see, do you have anything? Uh, maybe here? Or you want to bring that wrist up a bit higher and then the wrist, the fingers a bit higher so they're maybe more halfway through um, the palm and maybe potentially even rotate it out away from us. Just giving it a nicer silhouette than this hammer here. Kind of a hammer silhouette. New Jersey. And then same thing here. As you drop this arm, like I said, mechanics, this is going to affect that, which in turn is going to affect that and that and that and so on. So that needs to be your next pass for sure. Whoa. And then... Austria. Austria. Moments like this. Austria. Austria. He's basically just going back with his chest, which seems like a very simplified one-axis rotation. So you want to look at some complexities. And that's going to be informed by this arm move. This arm is moving a lot more than this. So your chest is going to also rotate in Y, driven by this arm movement back. 
And when he says Austria, you can have a bit of a dip in the head and go over Austria. You know, it could be something where I engage that my webcam here. But instead of going back and say Austria, it could be Austria, Austria. You can have all kinds of arcs, all kind of head moves um, that would help the complexity here. So it's not just one mechanical move back. All right, I mean, that applies to all your moves here. It's definitely a lot better. So I would do another pass of really looking at the mechanics and looking at if you move the head and if the, if the character says something and that that will force head accents because of the energy and the amount of words and the energy, like the, how loud it says those words. And because of that, because of head movements, that move is gonna affect the rest of the body as well. So that would be my recommended pass for next week. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.